Hey, welcome to Vloggers, day 22. We're ticking right along here. Um, in case you haven't noticed, I have a white halo. You see my gray hair? Whoa, my roots. So we're on our way right now to the hair salon. Denise got hers done earlier in the week, which is why she looks so cute. <laughs> and I'm going to get mine done now. Just going to get the roots touched up and a trim on my ends, which I do about every four months or so. And uh, yeah, I have a gig tomorrow, so I still don't have a hair blower. Um, <laughs> Sephora, as you may know, they won't, like, if they send you the wrong thing, they don't just then send you the right thing when you send back what they sent you they refund you and you have to reorder so I reordered the hair blower but it's not coming very fast so it's kind of good that I have this appointment because when Nathan is done he will give me a blowout and that blowout should last me for tomorrow night's gig I'll sleep on it tonight try to be gentle with it and then um, Denise and I will get up and drive tomorrow it's about a three three and a half hour drive yeah. To where we're going it's Budaladec First Nation the Nova Scotia uh, summer games for Mi'kmaq youth is happening up there and um, it's kind of a big celebration so I'm going in to headline a, an entertainment night uh, Don Burnstick will be on before me and one other comic so I'm looking forward to it um, gray hey it's gray weather this is really unusual we never show you gray weather here. <laughs> Duh. We had two days in a row. This is what we get blessed with after we have two days of beer. That's right. Uh oh, battery dying. I probably won't be able to vlog much at Nathan's. I'm looking forward to having my. Going to one of those nights is like going to a bar. I know it is. I've got some dresses if you want to. Do you? Yeah. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to fit in your dresses. Oh, Nathan you know, straightened his hair. We're going to get a zoom in. Yes. Yeah. So focus, focus. focus. There you go. Like that, Looks though. good. I got some parcels in the mail. I said to Denise, oh, let's get grab the vlog camera. So she grabs the vlog camera and she looks at me she's like, well, what do you want me to do? Vlog? Hello. Well, you usually do unboxing on yeah, the video. Yeah, this is different. I don't unbox chapters boxes. So this is an order from Indigo. Chapters slash Indigo. Crank her open. Now I got glasses, a couple of cups like this last year in a floral pattern and this year they came out with them in this beautiful black and white dots with a little red uh, line around the top. Gorgeous. And then black and white stripes. The little line across the top. This one kind of reminds me of Kate Spade. It's not Kate Spade, but it reminds me of it. <clears throat> and then we have Bad Move by Linwood Barkley. This is the very first Linwood Barkley book. I found one of his books just by accident last year and then didn't realize until way later that he was a Canadian author. So I've gone back to buy the first one that he ever wrote. This, of course, is part of the series, the Divergent series, Veronica Roth. It's a Divergent collection called Four. So it's got um, a bunch of kind of takeout scenes from the original three books. Uh, the Book of Life. This is book number three in this series. I've got the first two. I haven't read them yet. Now I have all three. I'm going to um, get on them this fall. They're the kind of books I like to read in fall, stuff about witches, that kind of thing. Another Linwood Bar Barkley, uh, Never Saw It Coming. This is Deepak Chopra, along with Rudolph Tanzi called Super Brain. <clears throat> it's about how to maximize the power of your brain. Uh, and Margaret Atwood, at her age, still putting books out. And I love Margaret Atwood books. This one's, I think it's called Medatum. Medatum. Um, I'm sure it'd be freakishly good, like all of her books. And this, I saw um, 
what's her what's her YouTube channel called? Books and Quills, I think it's called. She had these postcards, and I have since ordered the Vogue ones, which I have already. I'll have to show you sometime. And now these are the from the desk of Jane Austen, 100 postcards. And it's all postcards with Jane Austen quotes on them. And I love Jane Austen. Now you will notice that my hair, for the first time in a month, looks decent. And that's because, as you saw, I was at the salon and uh, Nathan, after giving me a little trim, he just trimmed up my ends. See, they were looking kind of beat off. Now they're nice and healthy looking. He trimmed up my ends. He touched up my color so my gray is gone. And I was so excited because that means it'll look good for the gig tomorrow night. But for a month my hair has looked horrible because I've not had a hair blower. However, that problem is about to be solved. Dun dun. Dun dun. Dun dun. dun, dun. Buttercup. It's the dry bar buttercup hair blower. Oh, it's light as a feather. How awesome is that? Get it out in a minute. Got, I got this before and I really like it. I like all these products. I just like having them in the blister packs for traveling. And I got a 500 point bonus that happens to also be hair care stuff. But let's look at the hair blower. I'm so excited. I'll tell you, they seal everything the way my mother wraps Christmas gifts. There she is, ladies and gents. There she is in all her splendid yellow glory. Oh, look how beautiful. She better be beautiful for 200 friggin' smackers. <coughs> <laughs> I think it came to, it was 190, came to 230 with um, tax and all that. That's Denise shaking her head. Uh, but my chi one caught on fire, so what could I do? Secretly, I prayed for that fire, but... Anyway, that's all I got to say. Hey everybody, so, um... It is the end of the night. Denise just finished having her shower. I just took my makeup off. There's the shower curtain. Um... Yeah, it was an alright Friday night. I napped at the beginning. Uh, Wyatt and Tim were supposed to come over and I napped through that and then we um, were looking for some movies every now and then I try to do a chip detox because chips are my thing and I'm trying to do a chip detox right now and Friday night's my night for chips so I was who am I kidding every night's my night for chips so anyway it's it's been like three days with no chips and I was freaking out tonight but I did it I went the whole night without the chips um, every now and then you just got to reassure yourself that you're in control of those things so we were bopping around like we found a Dean Koontz movie, like a Dean Koontz book that had been made into a movie, and it had like Ben Affleck and some other characters in it. Um, but it was made in 1989, and it we got about, I'd say, an hour, right, babe? Yeah. Yeah, about an hour into it, and we were like, you know what, this is going nowhere fast. As much as we love Dean Koontz books, sometimes those concepts don't translate into movies all that well. And then we bounced around to a couple other things. We watched like 10 minutes of Drive Angry with Nick Cage. I feel so bad for that guy. I just don't understand what happened to him in his career. But anyway, we finally found one called Haunter. And I forget the name of the girl that stars in it, but she acted as the daughter in the movie Signs and also as Little Miss Sunshine in Little Miss Sunshine. Um, anyway, it was really, really good. Like, it wasn't like... They can see our strangers good in the genre of horror flicks, but it was it was good. We enjoyed it. So now we're gonna hit the hay because tomorrow we'll get up. I'm gonna upload a couple of videos, have some breakfast, and um, then we're gonna get on the road. I'm gonna do my makeup here, and then we're gonna get on the road for Bottle Deck. <clears throat> Excuse me. I perform tomorrow night at 9:30, so we'll probably leave here around 4:30. Um, just to give ourselves, make sure we give ourselves enough time. And then I'm going to, um, they got us a hotel, so the dogs and everybody are coming. So we'll probably check into the hotel after the gig. But likely, um, 
as soon as it's daylight, we'll be up and on the road home. Te usually we would drive there and back if it was earlier in the day, but I don't like the idea of driving back in the dark, so we'll get up at the crack of light and you'll be with us. So for now, I'm going to say good night. Go ahead. She's doing her Listerine. As soon as she spits her Listerine, we'll say good night for real. Say good night, hot pants. Good night, hot pants. <laughs>